Hello and welcome back to another island tour. Today we will be visiting the island of Dab Hollow. Dab Hollow is a Halloween town and I can't wait to see it. It was created by our dear friend Carrot Cake. We have arrived. I already love that I can hear the sound of a ticking noise. It really kind of gives you the feel of the island right off the bat. Let's go check out the map before we get started. So we have Carrot Cake, Coco, Vesta, Gruff, Rodeo, Pietro, Biscuit, Rattle, Lucky, Tabby, and Kiki. It's a very interesting map. I like the way it's laid out. Um, it's very easy to walk around. I can already tell that I'm not gonna get lost. All the villagers are all lined up on the left and right side. And I can't wait to see how this island looks. Let's dive in. Okay, let's get the tour started. It looks like Carrie left us some presents behind, so let's see what we have here. I'm already loving the way this island looks. The way that we have the paths, the streets, the landscape of the trees and the flowers. We have a bunch of spooky treat baskets. We have some red sparklers. We got some party poppers. Let's see what are in these bags. So I already came to the island dressed up, but I really want to wear the vampire costume. It's super fitting. Oh, we forgot our pants. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's tour the island. I'm already loving the way that this island is laid out. As you can see here, we have like castle walls, jail bars, beautiful landscape with the purple and orange flowers. We have the streets and it's cluttered up with like candy and this jack-o'-lantern bag of chips. We got some bugs on the ground. We're gonna head over this way. Some more candy. Got some music playing in the background. You can hear a siren in the back. Do y'all hear that? Oh my gosh. Y'all, I literally had to contact Carrot Cake just now to ask her what the siren noise was because I couldn't figure it out. And it's a theremin. What's that? A theremin is an electronic musical instrument controlled without physical contact by the performer. And that's how we're getting the noise of the siren. And Carrot Cake has hidden those around the island to give it that eerie effect of the siren going off. Genius. Yeah, this is big brain time. Sometimes you think you've seen it all, but then you go to a Carrot Cake Island and you see something new in Animal Crossing. Okay, let's head up this direction. Before we head up the stairs, it looks like we have our first building. <gasps> it's a fun house, but it looks like it's a little abandoned. You can see that it used to say fun house. The lights no longer work anymore. There's like a spider on top of the vending machine and a scorpion. There's cobwebs hanging down from the light pose. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't know if I want to enter the fun house. There's like sounds of gears going off. Look at all these layers. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're inside the fun house. Oh, look how cool this is. Ah, there's a tarantula. There's some dead bones. There's some carnival games. It looks like there's a pipe there. We will head over there in just a moment. I like the use of the jail bars in the background to separate the area. We got some carnival balloons. We have a Ferris wheel. We got some um, duck games. Okay, let's head into the Mario pipe and see where it takes us. Oh my goodness. It looks like it just shot us up through an elevator. The elevator looks like it's a little broken. Oh no! Our table! It's broken! And there's um, some electricity shooting out of it. My worst nightmare. It's kind of giving me like Haunted Mansion vibes. There's like the sounds of like creaking noises. Is it haunted? We got like some smoke on the ground, some fog. The scorpion is talking. We got a tarantula. We got bats in here. It's freaking bats. Oh my gosh. We got skull, three different types of skull bones. Got the rest of the, the haunted mansion. Ooh, I don't know what is going on in here. 
but it looks like somebody is watching everybody on the island. Um, it's a little smoky in here. It looks like Samara from The Ring is coming out of the TV. Oh my gosh, guys. I think we only have seven more days. I'm very terrified about this. And the blood on the ground? No, thank you. I am terrified. And there's like handprints all over. There's cobwebs, trash bags. This is so creepy. Oh my god. And the little tricycle over here? Run, I gotta go. Run. Oh my gosh. Um, what is going on in this room? <laughs> we have a really scary chair with some electricity being shot out. Um, some blood, some, you know, medical tools. Um, a medical table with x-rays. Um, really scary stuff going on here. It looks like there's blood dripping from the tables as well. Some cobwebs and some bugs. Definitely don't want to go here for my uh, yearly doctor visit. Oh, Shrunk! Is Shrunk the doctor? Okay, note to self, if I see Shrunk, I'm gonna look the other direction. I love when people take like outdoor builds and then put them indoors. For example, we have the wallpaper that makes it look like we're in like a really scary graveyard. And then we have the graveyards and the trees, the big moon in the background with the bats. Oh, this is so, so cool. Okay, we have entered the creepy basement. We have some jail bars, maybe some security out front. Let's do a little pan over. We got some skeleton bones, some axes, some blood. Whatever's going on here, I don't want to be involved, honestly. We did enter this house using a Mario pipe. I just want to see what the front end looks like. And oh my gosh. It's breathtaking. Look at the layers. Wow. The wedding organs, the telephone booths, lighthouses in the background. I see some candles. There's so many layers of this giant build of this haunted mansion. Absolutely obsessed with it. And you can only access this by a Mario pipe that appears. So we're gonna have to go back inside and leave. And here's Carrie. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Back on the elevator we go. Let's head back into the city. Let's cross this little bridge. Ooh, I hear some creepy music again. Let's take a detour. I see there's a little path over here. I love this path with the tiny little pumpkins on it. it appears that this is a villager's home and they have decorated for trick or treat so they have little candy out. Oh, I love all of this on the beach too. This villager has a tarantula outside of their home with some blood. Let's see what they're up to. Looks like they have some trick-or-treat candy as well. We're inside of Rodeo's home. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with the bookcases right in the middle like that. It breaks up the space so nice. And I love how dark and moody it is, the cobwebs. Oh, we have spotted our first security camera. We all know where that leads to. Somebody in Carrot Cake's house is watching. Here's another villager that's home. Let's go say hi to them. Ooh, this is fun. So we have like the party floor, the graffiti wall as well. It gives me like Halloween party. We have like popcorn that might be broken down. <laughs> It looks like there's some electricity shooting out of it. I don't know. Um, get yourself a free bag of popcorn. You might get shocked while you do it. We got a DJ set. Jack is DJ for the night. Oh, and then like the little ghost in the tree. That's such a nice touch. Okay, we are gonna go back down this way. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything in this build. <gasps> like this. I don't know why, but this is adorable. The little lantern on the little pumpkin stool. What's going on here? Oh my God, it's a Chucky poster. Y'all don't know me. My community knows that I'm really, really scared of Chucky, like child's play movie. I watched it as a kid and it traumatized me for life. It's like Carrie knew. Carrie knew I was gonna come and visit. Put that poster right there. I just love all the details of the island. Like it doesn't look too cluttered, but like the use of putting items on the ground like this, it's so cohesive. Ooh, psychic. Let's go check out the psychic. Let's get our fortune told. Oh my goodness. How incredible is this? 
We have all the candles surrounding the fortune teller table. We have the stormy window in the back. Kiki is our fortune teller. Oh, we got another camera. Absolutely love this build. Okay, now that we got my fortune told, let's head over this way. Ooh, I love all the pumpkins over here. We have another villager that's home. Let's go say hi. Oh, it looks like we have actually entered a funeral. So our friend Wisp has passed away and has already turned into a ghost. Our dear friend Lucky is hosting the event. Lucky's last stop. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but the name of that, Lucky's last stop. When I pass away, I hope that I am hosted at Lucky's last stop. We have a little corner with tissue boxes. Here's the check-in desk. Let me sign my name in. Okay. Never thought I would see a very beautiful funeral home, but here we are. So here is Lucky's last stop building. I love that it continues over here. There's headstones. Don't worry guys, buy one, get one free. They're open right now. Our boy Wisp is still out here next to the urns. We even have a casket outside. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Okay, let's make our way over here. I don't, I wanna make sure I don't miss everything. Oh, here's Rattle. Here's our doctor. Behind Lucky's last stop, we have a graveyard. So it's very overgrown. You can actually see some skeleton bones buried into the ground right here. It looks like they forgot to put dirt on top. The sirens are going off to make it even more creepy. I love the glowing orange doors coming from the museum. The building is kind of giving me the vibes that it's a mausoleum. So maybe inside they have caskets and crypts which is really, really cool that Carrie did that. I would have never thought of using the museum as a mausoleum in the game. Making her way through the little Halloween town. Ooh, I love that this looks like the car is going underneath the bridge. Oh, that's such a good idea, I love that. Looks like we might have a little view, which we do. So we've actually have already seen the house up close. But now we get to see a far away shot and oh my God, this is incredible. Especially when you see it at night, we're getting like the stars in the sky, a little bit of, you know, blue and pink. But then we get that glow of the lights and all the pumpkins and the fire shooting. Wow. Okay, now we have a car that has shot out from the other side of the tunnel, which is really cool. And it looks like we are in front of Coco's costumes, how cool is that? So we have a costume shop full of all of Coco's favorite costumes. We got the jack-o'-lantern hat, we got a witch's hat, we got a pirate hat. Oh, we have like a little grocery store car. We got a bag that has bats on it and some candy. And they have a sale going on. And then over here, it looks like we have a post office, but it's called the ghost post. I love the shape of the building, the way we have like the storefronts at the very tippy top. And then we have like the simple panels and the fencing. It goes kind of from big to small. It's kind of giving like old town vibes. And then over here we have a haunted hayride. I'm already scared. So we have a bunch of overgrown weeds. We have a wagon over here that the tractor's pulling behind. We have scary costumes to scare you on the haunted hayride. Oh my gosh, we even have an ax back here. And it looks like it kind of leads us into also a pumpkin patch. Oh, we can even go apple picking. How cute is this? We have our ladder, we're climbing up our ladder. We got an apple on the ground. So the haunted hayride, we have biscuits candy. Oh my goodness, this is where you get all your candy. This is where all the villagers in town actually went to go buy their candy for trick or treating. They have cookies inside, candy, cotton candy. They even have a vending machine. And over here, what do we have? Now playing, ooh, maybe a drive-in movie theater? Oh, I see some scary posters. We have some horror film posters on the fencing. 
It's the little driveway to get into the movie theater. Oh, look at this path. This is so cool. We have entered the drive-in movie theater. We even have a little blanket area. We have a hay bed. We got candy on the ground. We got some maybe pumpkin cider. We got some popcorn. The concession stands right in front of us full of pretzels and candy. And then up top, oh my gosh. I don't think I was ready for this. Up top, we have the giant movie theater above the concession stand using the scaffolding, the big projectors, the flames, and then the lights in the background. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm obsessed with this. I wanna be here. I had to rate this movie theater on Yelp 10 out of 10. This is where you buy your tickets for the movies. Oh my goodness. There's a ghost that is selling you the ticket. What is that? On the right hand side, this is where the other villagers live. I think back here we just have some beaches, but they're full of bugs. <laughs> Which I'm like, please no. This is my worst nightmare. Being on a beach full of bugs and blood. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. This villager looks like they're home, so let's go say hi. Ooh, Coco is home. So Coco was the one who owned the costume shop which her costume shop continues inside of her house. She's got the firefighter costume. She's got the clown co costume, pirates, have a princess outfit. There's a sale going on. We got all of the hats as well. Okay, Coco, can I please have one witch's outfit? Coco, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, please, thank you. Over here, oh my God, we have the restaurant. We got Bloody Mary's. All you can drink Bloody Marys served right up to you. Oh my god, the mirror. Do I do it? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary! <laughs> I think I'm okay. Okay, but for real, this is such a cool concept. Like the bloody handprints, the bloody bar. This has to be hands down my favorite spot on the island. I know I might have said the Haunted Mansion one was, but this is such a cool concept. I can't get over it. It is genius. Chef's kiss. Hold on, right before we leave. Oh my God, we get our own Bloody Mary. That wraps up the official island tour of Dab Hollow created by Carrot Cake. Make sure to go follow her social. She does stream on Twitch and she's on Instagram. Make sure you go in the description and go give her some love because she is so creative and so talented and I'm so honored to be able to once again tour one of her amazing islands. You can catch me on Twitch. I'm currently working on a Pacific Northwest Island with a little bit of a splash of Twilight theme. If you already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do on the YouTube channel to help me grow. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!